What's up guys, it's Cooper from Tyre Films and today I'm actually gonna do a tutorial. I originally planned to do a move-in vlog of all of my move-in day stuff, um, kind of situating things, but unfortunately uh, I got sick, got a fever rolling, been chilling out all day, haven't had any motivation to do anything or hop in front of the camera. So I was like, why don't I just make the tutorial series now since um, I got a lot of good feedback on my Instagram about that. So super excited to get this tutorial rolling. Um, I'm actually gonna be working on that body flash or kind of flash on an object that you guys have seen maybe in the Forecastle vlog, I'd used it there. And then my latest workout vlog, people were asking, wow, like what do you do for that? I know you only use um, Premiere right now because I haven't really been using After Effects. I don't really wanna pay for it. Um, if I'm gonna be using it. First thing you wanna do is open up Premiere Pro, find those video files that you wanna use, and they can really be anything um, you wanna highlight. So if you wanna highlight a person's body, um, a moving object, or even anything in the background, this is super easy to use, um, can apply to really anything, and I love the flexibility of what you can do with it. So what I'm gonna show you guys is actually um, a clip from last week in the vlog. I wanted to highlight this bar when my arms, it fully extended down, and that's what I did. So and right there, I wanted to get that flash around only the bar, nothing on my body. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And once I show you guys, you can apply this mask um, to really anything. You can kind of shape it however you want, as long as you got the pen tool and know how to use that correctly. And one more thing I recommend before getting started is find kind of a click, um, maybe a ding, some kind of bell, um, you can even import stuff into the song and make it sound like it kind of belongs with that audio clip. And that's usually where I use some kind of flash or something like that. I'm gonna show you guys actually um, kind of a recap of the times I've used this right here. And that's basically how it looks. Um, it's pretty awesome uh, in my opinion. And, and a lot of people are like, Ugh, I don't have After Effects. I really can't even use this. Um, I don't want to pay for this. Like, I know the struggle. I've been there, done that. Seriously, the video life is a struggle. Everything is literally like a million dollars, I feel like. But you can do it in Premiere too. A lot of colleges actually offer the Creative Cloud. If you're a college student or even a high school student, you can get discounts. So Adobe um, makes it really easy to get some discounts with their software. But anyways, I'm gonna hop right into this clip and show you guys how it's done. So, first thing is making up um, where this is gonna ding. So I got it already on time. And what you wanna do to start your mask is click on that top clip, head over to your editing and uh, scroll down to opacity, click the pen tool and we'll get started. Forgot to mention to copy and drag up a clip and get the same thing right here. All you have to do is just click Alt, hold on this, drag up, boom. There's your second clip and you can maneuver this however you want. So you need to make sure you got two of the same clip um, right above each other and side by side. So once I click this pen tool, I'm gonna zoom in a decent amount. And then all we gotta do is just start our mask. So we're gonna click around this bar right here. Super easy, just drag to kind of form that circle. Um, not bad at all. And it doesn't have to be super accurate. Like see how I just kind of clicked over here, I'm gonna drag that. And then see how it's looping? You, I mean, this is gonna happen a lot of times. It's gonna be a common thing, but to fix this, you don't wanna just use your mouse. You wanna hold Alt, then use your mouse, drag up, boom, easy fix. And since I'm not fully zoomed in, it's showing like this right here with my mouse. I usually just click, then drag this back up. Um, you, can, you can zoom in a lot if you want, if you really wanna be intricate with what you're doing. But for the flash I'm using, I don't have to be that close. And it's super easy. So see how that's kind of straight right there? Don't really like that at all. All you gotta do is hold Alt and drag that out. So. Let me zoom in one more for this last little click. Pull this up, close it right there. There's first mask, super easy. I mean, this is kind of considered a harder mask and more time consuming than most because 
Um, you're doing three different sections of the bar because I really don't want to get my hand in there. I just want it to be the bar highlighted. And say you wanted to do your body for this mask, all you got to do is literally just draw around yourself. doesn't have to be crazy close. Um, but yeah, these are, these are really flexible and easy to use. Second mask. What I'm going to do is scroll down. I want this middle part of the bar right here. Then we'll finish off with the third of this end. And all you got to do is click the pen tool again. And voila, there's second mask. Boom. This one's cake. Drag all this. And there you go. I mean, super easy. You can do this on Premiere really easily. I know After Effects, you got all the rotoscoping and stuff, tracks your body, awesome. But you can't beat the old masking, I'll tell you that. So we're gonna draw around one more time. I'm gonna fast forward um, so you guys don't have to keep listening to me talking and you're probably bored of shit right now. So hold on just a second. Okay, so now that we have this layer cut out right here, we're all set to start applying the effects. But before I do that, I actually just realized I accidentally did all the masking on the bottom layer. So literally all I have to do, drag up, and we're gonna do the same cuts that I did. Um, on the layer is supposed to be so we can get rid of that and we want this clip to be long right because this is the bottom layer this is the main footage and this little block is going to be the effect I just had it totally reversed so what you're going to want to do now is click on that top little block and then head over to effects and then drop that invert effect on that block right there and you're going to see that little bit of flash on the bar so I typically like to change up this flash um, just a little bit. I know the white um, looks actually pretty cool, but I like to throw a little bit of different um, design in there. And what you do is just head right over to that effect, click down on that bar, and you can change it to any color. So red, green, blue, anything like that. But my favorite is that HLS um, right there. Just a cool, clean effect. Um, a lot of different inverting going on there, um, kind of a mix of things that don't really know exactly what it is, but it's super cool. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I love this effect. I think it's freaking awesome. Um, use it all the time and I hope you guys will too. And I hope you found this tutorial super helpful on how to learn this um, different effect. It's really easy to use, a lot of flexibility with it, objects, um, people, just different things you can manipulate. And I like to use it a lot for music videos as well. Um, just kind of goes on with that trippy little vibe. But I'll be coming out with more tutorials in the future um, based on Premiere Pro. Hope you guys found it helpful. After Effects tutorials may be coming in the future, just depends on um, kind of my, pro my progress um, with all the software. It's really tough to learn. So that is all I have for you guys. Stay tuned, drop some ideas, tutorial stuff like that um, down in the comments or hit me up on IG. That's where I got the idea for this video and I'm excited to make more tutorials in the future. See ya.